I, I'm I'm like a lightweight. I've never been drunk in my life. I've never smoked marijuana. I've never gotten high. I've never done anything. But my system is real sensitive. Uh, I I was doing a movie and I couldn't. I had like it was going on two or three days with no sleep. Plus I was getting a cold. So I figured, okay, I'll take some Nyquil or something like that. Like and it'll help me sleep and deal with my cold. I, I took them and later just went bonkers. And I was con convinced that I was gonna die. I was convinced that if I let myself go to sleep, that was it. I got so paranoid that thinking I was gonna die, I ended up like confessing to her that- You can't call me. That like <laughs> she was the one, you know, that, you know, I gotta let her know that in case I'm gone, you know, it was you, <laughs> you know, that whole like, Well, thanks for telling me now that you're gonna die. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but, but she didn't know I thought I, I was know, gonna I die. <laughs> but I just, you know, it, it, which is, you know, this, but it turned out it was a bad reaction to some damn Tylenol PM. So the next day I realized I had to put that out there and I had to deal with it. So uh, we, you know, I basically was like, whoa, okay. Um, uh, about the other day, <laughs> you know, that night. And the timing couldn't have been better because we both were at the end of our marriages. So, you know, he had told me, he said, well, when I'm done filming this and I get back to L.A., I want to just take you out, you know? And I was like, cool. So he kept to his promise and we went to dinner. Mm -hmm. We went dancing and we, we just had fun. And it was almost like no, no time, time had passed. Yeah. It just went right back. It's, it's exactly like your best friend. Yeah. Like, you know, you don't have to be around your best friend and you just pick up right where you left off and it's just, it, you know, and it always was like that around her. But I, you know, I was thinking, you know, thought like, okay, yeah, this feels nice, but, you know, getting kicked in the teeth is just around the corner. Just something's going to happen. We <laughs> you know always I mean? thought, it's like, this is yeah. like too good to be true. I, I, I was the same way. I was like, something bad has to happen. This is just too perfect. I've never been remotely as happy as I am now. One of the most painful things is for me to think about is how much time I spent away from her running around being, you know, doing what I was, thought I was supposed to be, you know, do as a man. Or it's, it, feels, it feels like, wow, we, we missed a decade yeah. of just an amazing, experience and we got to embrace the, the the failed relationships in a way where yeah. if it wasn't for those relationships we wouldn't appreciate what we have and now that's what it is to that's such a degree what it really is. yeah <laughs> he had said something to me at one point he was like you know i lost you one time before it's never happening again ever so it's kind of like those words were so had so much you know weight to them I never even thought like, what if this doesn't work out or what, you know, yeah. it was always like, this is who I'm going to be with till the day I die. You know, yeah. that's it.